Hi, I am the urban homesteader. Life is hard. <laughs> Life is getting harder. Um, my job hangs in the balance. I won't know if I have a job at the end of this year. Today is Wednesday. It's December 1st. And as you know, there's a lot of things going on in our world today. Um, nationwide, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, there's a lot of things that I want to do that I have wanted to accomplish. I got a couple of those things accomplished over the last three years, but as I said, my job hangs in the balance. So this year going forward, starting now, I know I live in Michigan, and as you can see, we have snow on the ground, and it's not uncommon for us to have snow this time of the year. Um, but I am going to attempt, I am going to, no, I'm not going to attempt. I am going to grow some greens this winter. I planted some spinach and I plan on I plan on planting some lettuce here soon. So I just planted this on Sunday. Um, I looked at this last night. I felt um, I will again I will leak link the channel where I got this idea from because I certainly did not come up with this idea, but I did plant some spinach in here and even though we had frost last night it got below the, it's still relatively soft so yeah and look it's already starting to germinate I don't know if you can tell <laughs> but it is starting to germinate which I'm very pleased with um, but I just planted this on Sunday and I'm really surprised that it's already starting to germinate so today is supposed to be like 32 rainy um, but that is a miniature greenhouse for my spinach. This is my lavender. <clears throat> This is my greenhouse. I bought this greenhouse from uh, the tractor supply company, tractor supply, and it cost $35. Uh, this is my garden. I started this garden two years ago. It's progressed, um, but this year I'm going to take it to a whole new level. I have uh, some kale that Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what, a rabbit? There's a rabbit in here? Oh my gosh, there's a rabbit, oh, I don't know exactly, I don't know exactly, oh, it looks like it died, it looks like it finally died, um, oh, look there, it's not dead after all, <laughs> there's my kale, it actually looks pretty good, um, oh yeah, well that's a little bit frosted there, but, it's not too bad, but I'm going to um, I'm gonna clean this out and put a cover over it and see how it does. Uh, living in Michigan, there's not going to be a lot that I can grow this winter. Uh, I did have tomato plants. I had zucchini. My zucchini did really well. My zucchini does really well. Uh, I, I've tried pickles, and the pickles just don't do all that well in this space. So my goal is to recreate my garden this year to make us sustainable this upcoming year because I don't know what's going on with my job. I've been able to plan ahead. Um, I've heeded the warnings. I've bought a lot of rice. I've bought a lot of oatmeal. I bought a lot of canned food. I'm learning how to can. Um, I can for the very first time and I'll enclose some clips of me learning how to can. Um, I'm doing water bath canning because I don't have a pressure cooker right now and as you know the only things you can really water bath can with um, 
with usually 100% success is uh, jellies, jams, things that have a lot of sugar in them. Those items are great for water bath canning, so I've learned. Um, but yeah, I'm going to remake my garden this year. Okay, so I'm learning uh, the basics of canning, sanitizing the lids, sanitizing the jars, and this past weekend I canned my first batch of carrot cake jam. It's not the first time I've done any canning. I have canned once before. I made cherry jam about 30 years ago. I live in town. I cannot have chickens. I looked up the ordinances, the township ordinances, and it is not allowed. I live in northern Michigan, which is really funny because downstate like Pontiac, Flint, Detroit in that area, Farmington Hills, you can have chickens. And it's much more civilized than where we live. We live in a small town, population is about 5,000. Um, we live right off the freeway and we just can't have chickens. Uh, there is a farm about, I would say about a mile from here and they have goats and chickens. So it would be nice if I lived out of town, but while I'm waiting for my forever homestead, I'm working on this plot right here. And we have one lot. This is a one lot. Our house is on one lot. And I'm going to do the best I can to grow a garden, get some food, and learn. I'm just going to learn this winter. I don't know what's going to happen with my job. Um, it's a very scary time right now, and I'm just going to try to make the best of it as I can try to make the best of it as I can. Um, maybe it's in a, a blessing in disguise. I don't know. Sometimes we have to look at it that way. So yeah, um, just want to introduce myself to you and let you know what I have planned. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.